Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about what specifically makes a go-kart drift and what you can do to make your go-kart drift because honestly I get questions, you know, from you guys like asking, you know, what will help make your go-kart drift because obviously everyone's go-kart is a little bit different. You know, mine being a race kart chassis, you know, it comes with a lot of like benefits and things that make it drift and I'm gonna go over the basic things that'll make your cart drift. And you know, when it comes to checking your cart, see if it has these, uh, this list of items because this plays a big role in, you know, of course, drifting. So starting with the most basic one, you wanna make sure you have a live axle. A lot of people don't realize that you can't just drift on one wheel. Some carts have one wheel drive, believe it or not. Um, Jeffrey's go-kart, a go-kart we build on this channel, does have one-wheel drive. It's the F1 cart. I'll leave a link to the build right here. So unfortunately, Jeffrey's go-kart is unable to drift because you're only driving one wheel and the other one's not doing anything. So you can't really get the full momentum and the full effect. You, you can drift one way maybe and not the other and it's way difficult and having a live axle makes sure that you have both wheels in play. Live axle definitely plays a big part in drifting and it's a big reason why a lot of people weld their diffs on a car when they drift is because it connects the rear wheels so that the power is evenly distributed to both wheels and one isn't getting more than the other. Then again, live axle, huge part to have making sure that your cart can drift. Second part to drifting. Um, PVC. That's basically the next step. After making sure that you have both rear wheels spinning, PVC is um, a plastic that you slip over the rear tires so that you can make it drift because it slips up the rear wheels. Because go-kart tires are just way too grippy to be drifting on their own. And it's definitely possible, but you don't get the bigger, longer drifts and high-speed drifts. You get shorter donuts and sharp turns and go-karts aren't making enough power to make the rear wheel slip with how much grip they provide especially a cart like mine with bigger wider uh, rear rear wheels you know putting that pvc on allows it to slip and even then sometimes when those tires get those pvc tires get really warm uh, they get super grippy so it may seem like it's slipping a lot at first you just have to get them warm and if you're doing long drifts you'll realize that it's getting really really grippy. PVC is definitely a huge factor to making a go-kart drift just because of the power limitations. Unless you're making a buttload power and you have a small tire, you should have no problem drifting without PVC. It can be kind of expensive depending on how much you're drifting too. So um, definitely something to look into and a lot of people get 10 inch PVC because they have a 10 inch tire. My cart has a 10 inch tire, so I run 10 inch PVC. The width varies depending on how wide your tire is. And at the same time, if you have a wide tire, say like my tire is eight inches wide, I choose to run somewhere between three and a half and five. I find that to be the sweet spot. Believe it or not, the smaller PVC tire that you do run, the grippier it is. It's hard to believe because you would think that with a wider tire you'd get more grip but it's not the case I mean maybe once you get them warm I've asked several people who drift like myself and they everyone says that the smaller PVC does provide more grip so if you're looking for more grip smaller PVC if you're looking for less grip because you have less power or whatever the reason is wider PVC is definitely the way to go so those are the main things that will ensure that you can drift now this next item, number three, is going to be angle. So everyone's angle will be different. Mine being a race cart, the angle is very limited. So a mod that me and a few others have done is extended the distance that the tie rods are mounted to our steering column because they will travel further, which allows the tires to be pulled and pushed in a further direction, allowing to us to get more angle. You know, there's a lot of people that make drift trikes and a lot of people that have, you know, these other smaller carts that are drifting them too. And everyone has their own drift setup, but if there's a will, there's a way and there's always some sort of method that will allow you to get more angle. Much more angle allows for 
more flexibility within a drift and better ease of drifting too because what I found is I'm not struggling to keep the cart super shallow um, and with low angle because I can't max out angle uh, but not too much to where you would spin out so with more angle means it's easier to slip the tires um, especially when drifting making sure you have um, enough steering angle is a huge factor that has changed the game of drifting and you can see that even with cars people have angle kits no matter what car they have so yeah live axle and pvc are kind of the main you know ingredients to having a cart that can drift and everything else is kind of preference the engine's preference how much angle you run is preference if you do a drift trike or a drift cart and um, everything else the brakes that all is preference, but a live axle and PVC are kind of like the main things that you need and everything else is kind of built around it based on what you feel like uh, you want your setup to be like. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and found it helpful and I hope that this, you know, helps you get your cart closer to drifting or making it drift and if it did help out, please let me know in the comment section below if you think there's any other factors that you think would make a go-kart drift that I didn't mention in today's video, go ahead and let me know down below too because I'd like to know any other things that might be useful or necessary that I really haven't touched on. Then again, if you are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below because we have a lot of go-kart content coming out. Some like this, but I'm trying to get back into driving right now. I'm far from home, but I'm trying to get back in. And if you're a current subscriber and you want to see my second channel or your new subscriber you still want to see the second channel i'll leave a link to it right here i do like camera videos and other stuff like that so if you're interested in that go ahead and hit that subscribe button on the second channel too but otherwise thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out